the Ruffham Innovation Centre, so just uh, east of Bury St Edmunds. So we're seeing near market products, so coming through R&D to existing products and how to get the best out of them. And as they've seen today, you look at the solatinol plots against the existing chemistry and all of a sudden, you know, that's exciting to them rather than just talking about a active ingredient and a bottle um, is not so exciting. So, you know, it brings it to life and they get the opportunity to see what it does in the field. I'm very interested in particularly fungal disease. One of my attractions come to this today was the new product that they're bringing to the market and seeing how to use it and use it better. To me, that's key. And the one message coming out of here today was prevention. Big time. Prevention for fungal diseases is the way forward. I've um, been coming here all season um, as, uh, as a guest of uh, Sagenta to see uh, all the fungicide work. And um, the, the Salatinol really has been the standout performer really today. It's the main, main reason for I, for I came to see it in a sort of uh, an on farm situation. Salatinol? Uh, quite impressive. Um, obviously you've got a Dexar and uh, Aviator as standards here, but uh, the Salatolol does seem to be head and shoulders above those. So as you can see, if we're in there, we've got leaves all the way from the bottom to the top, which have got Septoria. And over the last week, this has really changed. Because we, we still had some green leaf area up at the top, and the last week this has really all disappeared. So you can see we're under pretty high pressure. This is the salacinol as part of a full program. So this is how we want to be using the salacinol. Keeping the leaves down at the bottom of the crop all the way up through to the top as clean as we possibly can for, for as long as possible. And we would advise a T3 on the, on the top of that. The only difference to this, to how, our final advice, is that we would always suggest you add in chlorothanol in Bravo at the T2 timing as well. You can see it here uh, compared to Diego. They have a similar um, aspect, these two varieties. Diego is grown for its consistency. It does well in any situation, uh, any rotation, any soil type. And to some extent, this is what Graham does as well. It consistently yields at that 104 uh, level. It performs in all regions of the UK but it has an outstanding disease profile. So no disease lower than a, no main disease lower than a seven.